Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So we now have a rotary control knob in place of the up and down switch. Um, it worked actually really good with the up and down switch, so you're going to have some options here. Uh, the rotary knob is uh, another idea that uh, Shinlanko had. Uh, so definitely check out his channel because he'll show you exactly what he did on the inside. Um, whereas me, I'm just going to show you uh, this and of course take her for a run in the snow. Um, he doesn't have much for anything for snow right now. So uh, anyways, um, great guy, great inventions uh, for modding stuff. Um, this actually I think is going to be like the ultimate for control over the plow, but it depends on which way you want to go. Either up and down or rotary control. It's up to you. Uh, you'll have some choices for sure. Um, and I do have plans for maybe disabling the side-to-side -side channel here, which is normally for a back blade or uh, whatever other attachment you're going to put on the rear end, maybe a winch, whatever. Um, I have an idea in mind that I'm thinking about doing, not sure yet, uh, but I'm thinking about it. I'm going to see uh, how my idea pans out. But um, anyways, if I do, you'll know. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go see how the Kyosho works now with this uh, rotary control system. It gives a lot of sensitivity, and by the way, you do need a 10K potentiometer for this, um, which is what he had mentioned to me. And I did find one, actually, in my collection of stuff. I uh, took apart a CB uh, radio uh, SWR meter, and uh, it had a 10K pot in it, so perfect, because the 250 still had way too much room left over, so I wanted you know, more um, throw as well as, you know, the sensitivity up there where I need it. So 10K definitely is the way to go. So, uh, hey, by the way, Shinlanko, I know you're watching this video. Thank you, brother. Awesome idea. Works sick, and it's staying in this radio. So I actually had to drill my hole bigger, so it's going to be staying no matter what. But I do love it, so that's definitely the way to go. So let's go check out the running footage, guys. Okay guys, outside test time. See how the plow works. So there's rock bottom. You can see the movement. Okay, so we're gonna have here just about there. One of the deeper stuff. Okay. Game one spot. So I'm going to give the blade a little bit more pressure. Too much. Battery's starting to get a little low. <laughs> I haven't charged it since the last video. I got something in the back of my wheel. Oh yeah, building up snow. That's what it is. All right, cleared that out. No build up.
how the bushes should run. Should clear snow. Alright guys, now I think that is like the ultimate mod for this thing. Gives you a lot more precision control over everything, which is sweet. Anyways, uh, like I said, go check out Chinlanko's channel. And uh, I figured I'd do definitely for the snow test, because right now apparently he doesn't have much for anything for snow. Uh, but great guy, just the same, coming up with some really good mods for this. And uh, yep, I'm leaving the... Uh, rotary control in myself and that's with the stock servo horn and uh works great so thanks for watching guys and catch you on the next one and thank you again shinlanko that was an awesome idea going to the rotary control that works perfect